over the hill. I think he's old. I think he's slow. I just got to go in there and, and do my job. I do my job to the T, 100%. You're going to see Matt Hughes sleeping. Don't care what Josh had to say. I think he's just a self-promoter more than anything. Love me or hate me, I don't care. He's been dodging me for a long time. I'm a lot faster, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm a lot better of a fighter than him. Josh Koscheck! I expect Josh Koscheck to be walking backwards more than anything. He's a wrestler that just likes to throw his hands, and he's not the most technical. Oh, if I'm on top, I can keep him down. Well, I'd say on his back, it would be where Josh is most vulnerable. Matt Hughes' days are over. This crazy son of a bitch is going to come up and take out the old man. Oh, oh, oh. You know, my hands are going to fly, and you're going to just see Matt Hughes hitting the ground. Josh Koscheck wow. wins here tonight! Doesn't matter who my opponent is, the bottom line is getting your hand raised at the end. I will beat Matt Hughes, guaranteed. Josh Koscheck hasn't even made his way to the arena. They see him on the big screen, and they're already booing one of the bad boys from season one of The Ultimate Fighter. Remember, Diego Sanchez was the original opponent. Koscheck fights tonight at 170 for the first time in nine months, for the first time since his title fight against George St. Pierre. He may be the most hated man in mixed martial arts, and that, believe it or not, has been engineered by Josh Koscheck. He's a very smart promoter, and his idea is, love me or hate me, just talk about me. He brings to the table some very spectacular skills, especially with his wrestling. As you see there, Division I National Wrestling Champion and four-time All-American. That is huge. He's a tremendous athlete and really channeled that athleticism into developing the striking game and has developed some sick one-punch knockout power. When we first saw him in The Ultimate Fighter, he was primarily a wrestler, just holding guys down. Now, he uses his wrestling to keep guys up and put them away. You have a younger, quicker, maybe stronger, maybe more powerful striker and Josh Koscheck going against the longtime veteran Matt Hughes. But we had that same scenario, Joe, when Tito Ortiz fought Ryan Bader. Don't ever count UFC legends out. Yeah, you can never count out Matt Hughes. And again, Matt Hughes is a very well-rounded submission game, a very underrated submission game. And I think that may be a key to him winning this fight. And truly, if he's able to damage the face of Josh Koscheck. How will Koscheck respond after being on the shelf for 90 days, not able to elevate his heart rate after the St. Pierre fight? Country boy lives on the farm. Hey, check it out. Pat Militich, first time he's been with Pat since 2007. Robbie Lawler, his longtime friend. Jeremy Horn. Tony Fricklin is here. His twin brother, Mark Hughes, is here. Jens Pulver. Monty Cox, his longtime manager. His striking coach, Matt Pena. There's a lot of signs, Joe, that 
may talk to win or lose the end of one of the most brilliant careers in mixed martial arts history. Well, he's his wife has been trying to get him to retire for quite a while. And it might, you, know, you know, he just enjoys competing, and that's part of the problem. He's already decided to only take exciting fights. You know, that's what he, he's been looking towards, not trying to make a run in a title. I sat down with him at a very long conversation and interview with him on UFC.com. And what he's basically said is that, you know, he knows this is towards the end of the career. His wife's wanted him to retire for a while. He would like to go out on a win. He has used that old expression, happy wife, happy life, quite often. 46 professional wins. He is number one all time with 18 wins inside the octagon. Two welterweight championship reigns. Seven successful welterweight title defenses over two reigns. Nine championship fight wins, second now, only to the greatest champion of all time, Anderson the Spider Silva. Stylistically, this is a dangerous fight for him. The reason being is that Matt Hughes has never been a great striker. He's a great fighter, but his strength has been taking the fight to the ground and beating guys up there. Josh Koshtek is incredibly difficult, A, to get to the ground, and B, he's much quicker and much better striker standing up. Inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame in May of 2010, Matt Hughes has defeated six former or current UFC champions during his career, including George St. Pierre, Matt Serra, BJ Penn, who he now trains with extensively, Dave Manet, Sean Shirk, and Carlos Newton. Truly one of the best of all time, the legendary Matt Hughes. And it's like we turn back the clock to see Pat Miletic in the corner of Matt Hughes. They were the best team in the world for a while. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Hughes is 37, Koscheck 33 years old. Everything else is virtually identical. And with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Fresno, California, Josh Koschen. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 46 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsborough, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former two-time UFC welterweight champion, Matt Hughes. And the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. All right, I gave you guys instruction in the locker room. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all time. Defend yourself for all times. Let's touch gloves. Let's do this. Matt Hughes, his 25th UFC fight. Josh Koscheck, his 19th battle inside the octagon. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Here we go. First round, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Hughes in the green trunks. White trunks for Koscheck. Long jab by Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes trying to take a page out of the George St. Pierre playbook and stick that jab at Koscheck's face. Right where it was damaged for 25 minutes and quickly he wipes that eye, Joe. That jab might have hit the same spot. Yeah, and he would like to land that over and over and over again. Don't even concentrate on the right hand. Just focus on that jab. Stick it out there. Use good defense. Keep your right hand up high. And for Josh Koscheck, is look for that opening. Look for the opening of his haymaker right hand. And it'll be interesting to see if he shoots for the double or the single because one of the most explosive takedowns in MMA today and in the UFC is possessed by Josh Koscheck. 
Matthews has got to be careful as he swings, Mike, he drops his hands and leaves himself open. If Koscheck can time that, when, when Hughes is throwing punches and missing, his hands are dropping. Koscheck has certainly brought out a lot of emotion <laughs> in his UFC career. I mean, he's very clever in his approach to be a villain because people pay, oh, he clipped him, he clipped now. And if you know Josh, up. actually in person, he is different, but you know what? He's a competitor. Yes, you know? he is, and he wears the black hat very well. Proudly. He, he clipped Matt Hughes with a bad left hook there. left hook of his own right there. UFC record 18 wins for Matt Hughes. He pushes forward and again the left hook. He is definitely targeting that eye of Josh Koscheck. Yeah, he is. And again with a left uppercut that time. Koscheck was on the shelf truly for three months, Joe, unable to elevate his heart rate. And flying, he said, was basically horrific because of the pressure it put on all those bones that St. Pierre damaged. Again, pop that left jab again. And a little bit of swelling under Koscheck's eye already. Indeed. Good game plan for Hughes and another again. stiff jab. Again. Oh, oh. a nice uppercut as well. Matt Hughes is getting loose here. Matt Hughes, the wrestler. <laughs> How far we have come since 1993 down the road at McNichols Arena. This is one of the best striking displays so far of recent memory of Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes has talked so often, he goes, Goldie, I just want that highlight reel knockout. He had those leg kicks against Henzo Gracie in Abu Dhabi, but he would love to light somebody up, get knocked out of the night. He would love it to be Josh Koscheck. That uppercut. uppercut is very sneaky. He's doing a great job with that uppercut. And, and great head great, movement. Great movement there as well. Very surprising. Look, Matt Hughes prepared well for this fight. It's very clear. He didn't have a lot of time, but clearly he's done the right things. Here's the takedown attempt. And look at this. Josh Koscheck not liking to stand up, but Matt Hughes able to keep it on the feet and lands a knee. Matt Hughes, the boxer. Tell you what, Josh Koscheck may have very well underestimated Matt Hughes. As I said, you look at Tito Ortiz and Ryan Bader, and no disrespect to Ryan, because he truly has a bright future in MMA. But everybody thought, ah, oh, Tito's done. Ryan will walk through him. Some people said the same when Koscheck replaced Diego Sanchez. Some people aren't Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes has so much motivation coming into this fight. If it truly is his last fight of a long and illustrious career, he would love so much to go out with a yep. victory over this guy. And he has flown in just about everybody from his very, very, very popular, very successful and Hall of Fame career. Looking for the uppercut. You heard Pat Militic say it, and there's the uppercut. Oh, he's hurt badly. He ducked under, though, but he got hurt by the right hand of Koscheck. Hughes he's answers, though. In the pocket, and he smiled at him. Uh-oh, little wince in that left eye of Matt Hughes. Another big right hand, and again. That one hammered home. Yeah, right. Koscheck teeing off now. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. 23 seconds on the clock here, round one. Clinch. Matt's looking for a knee. He throws it, scrambles. On his back, 15 hammer seconds. Fist, big hammer fist from Josh Koscheck. And again, a big right. Matt's in all kinds of trouble. Final here. seconds of the round. About five seconds on the clock. He's out. He's out cold. It is all over. Josh Koscheck has knocked out Matt Hughes right as the round was about to conclude. Here we see Josh Koscheck lands one big right hand, a left hook, a hammer fist, a right hand, another right hand again. And at this point, Matt's in all sorts of trouble. That hammer fist put him away. And you see him go limp, and Mario Yamasaki steps in to rescue him. And here we see it again. That right hand hurt him. 
Again, again it lands, and here's the hammer fist. And that was it. The end of a long and illustrious career. It may have truly been a knockout at 459 of the very first round. Matt Hughes, an army of one. Josh Koscheck, still a factor if he's going to stay at welterweight or go to 185, as he said before. Robbie Lawler, Jeremy Horn, Matt Pena, Pat Militich, all there with their longtime friend, and one of the greatest fighters of all time. And Koscheck earns a big victory coming off his title fight Great job, Josh. against George St. Pierre. It started with the big overhand right. It was finished on the ground. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Josh Koscheck. As I thought, 459 of the first. Here is Koscheck with Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Josh Koscheck. Josh, congratulations. First of all, this is a fight that you wanted for a long time. You got it. You're victorious. Tell us how you feel. Well, I, I just want to say thanks to Matt Hughes for taking this fight late in his career. You know, uh, he's a legend, you know, and I'm really proud. To, and I, I had the opportunity to fight a legend like Matt Hughes. You, you had a long time off after your fight with St. Pierre. You had that injury to your eye that you had to deal with. Everything is now 100%. Tell us, what was it like to be on the shelf for so long, and how does it feel to get this big victory after all that? It was actually nice being on the shelf. You know, I got to focus on other areas. And uh, you know what? Uh, I'm growing as a person, as a fighter. And I'd like to just thank Zinc and Entertainment, all the guys back at Fresno. Thanks for the love. Congratulations on a huge, huge win. Josh Koscheck, ladies and gentlemen.